Well, you're, we're live now. You're sitting in the seat, and that means you sit there and enjoy the show. Hi, guys. Ryan Pioneer. We don't know if anybody can hear. It's pretty warm out. It's very moisturating again. Stay hydrated with your Sweet Jack again in our Pigeon Boss new glass mugs that we're not selling yet, but we're going to be. Thank you. Mmm. All right, what are we doing today? Neil, thanks for tuning in. Bob Simpson, thanks for tuning in. Bob, you're going to be on today. Neil, you're going to be on today. Let's switch the old camera around. And you are seeing the site of basketing. We're working on the Yellow Warriors today. Uh, what was it, 29 pigeons? 29 pigeons. Make sure you can see me in the camera, okay? If you can see me, you can hear me, you know I'm doing it. Say yes, say hi. Hopefully... Uh, this works for you, okay? Um, today, Leah's not in the house. Uh, she was packaging up a lot of parcels to go, so she couldn't make it today. Too bad, so sad. I'm going to have to run the show. We got Love Major Richard. He's sitting down like a good boy today. Good job, Richard. <laughs> All right, perfect. Hey, now, uh, hey, where did you get that haircut? The, before we start tuning the, yellow, the, before we start tuning the yellow team's horn, big shout-out yesterday to the Red Rockets. Competition was go out, come in, go out, come in, spend some time out in the sprinklers, go on the roof in the trees on the lawn, couple circles, and what did we do? We did it. 21 for 21. Yes, two chips. Well, one chip, the Tavares chip, uh, we have to reassign, so that bird will not show. That's where you see 20 pigeons instead of 21. And the Portugal pigeon is Carlos Textera. Again, we have to make an adjustment on the ring. Perfect score for the Red Rockets. Right now, they are in a demanding lead right now. Mm. Today, we got heavy rain, high humidity, humidity to an all-time frizzy hair day. Today is the day of Bob Ross hair, where it comes up. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, look him up, up on the tube. If you can't fall asleep, no, you don't have to buy those special stupid apps. Go to YouTube, type in Bob Ross, the joys of painting. Where did you get that hair done? Not by you. Was it legal? Bill Lima, Ricky Cruz, thanks for tuning in. And again, guys, uh, the devil's still in the loft. Still in the loft. We're going to scan each bird on the yellow team. They're all going to be scanned and shown. We are going to start now. Got 29 pigeons to go through. Uh, and we'll go from there. So, are we ready? Are you ready? Here we go from Niagara. 10828. Eight. Oh, hold on, I forgot, I forgot to I forgot to fire my clock up. Oh, I'm such a bad boy. Let's make sure. That... Here we go. Ring number 10282. Again, my dyslexia will kick in from time to time. This is Cano from Ian Sybil, the Sybil family. Let's bring the bird right up so you guys can take a look. Looking sharp, bright eyed. You got a little bit of blonde here. Let me bring him right up. I don't know. Hopefully, we got enough light on here today. Hopefully, you guys can see okay. Hold the wing up. You see where the bird is on the flight. Lucky enough, Ian came down this weekend, purchased some feed, some products. He got an opportunity to come and handle all of his birds, which is great. Uh, a one-lock race allows you to do that, and that's what we do here at Pioneer. So there's the first one for Ian Sybil. I believe he's got seven in the race. So you're going to see Ian up a few times. Next bird up. From the Niagara, 10277. This here is Ian Sybil's Cuban Fury. Let's bring him right up to the camera. Real, real nice pigeon. Again, scanning in, working good. The scanner, I'm just gonna double check, yes. Molting good, kicked its first. Again, real, uh, you can see here on the back, molting in the back heavy on the shoulders. The, uh, the cover, it's coming off. Bird is looking good. Do you I stand in the number. I stand in the number. You, you watch for that, Richard. 
Lee, if there's any questions, please let me know. Dave Ottaway, thanks for tuning in. Here we go. CU 13130. Wings of Stone. Wings of Stone, Jeffrey Butterman, and Steve Rogers. The name of the bird, Steve Rogers. I, I'm just running, like, I'm just doing these things. It's amazing. Stevie Rogers, what a great name. I love Steve. Swoop Loop, here's your bird. Big shout out to Bred by Silver Creek Lost, Bill Wema. Just showing you here. I know they're always tuned in, so I'm going to give you a double wing shot. Again, molting heavy. Bird looking good. Good body weight. All uh, three birds so far molting the same heaviness. They all have the same body weight. And again, I believe we're still not through with the devil yet. He's still in this section as well. The trumpets will sound tonight at the final feeding of the day from the Niagara 10281. Ian Sybil, this is Little E. I don't know what the difference between Little E and Big E is. It doesn't really matter. One thing is, Ian sent some very nice pigeons this year. Doing good so far. Knock on wood, he hasn't lost any yet with his team of seven. Maybe they're going to be called the Magnificent Seven. I don't really know. But you're looking at Little E. Emily, thanks for tuning in. Rodrigo. Thanks for tuning in. And Joseph, my man, you're in the house. We thank you for all tuning in. What else would you rather do on this shitty, humidity, frizzy, air, shitty, sweaty day? All right. Oh, boy. Here we go from Wolf Hill. Oh, boy. Ricky, you're going to have to get ready to do this one. The band number lady at Wolf Hill lost 127. This is Lone Wolf from my man, Wolfie. This is Wolfie's blue. Nice pigeon, good body on him. Hey. hey, Rodrigo, thank you. Yeah, we're trying to do the best job we can. We want to keep you guys informed, up to date, no, show you the birds step by the step. That's the guy that came very young, that bird. Yeah, this pigeon came very, very young. Very young. And it's doing good. Uh, again, this sickness isn't over, sort of until we think everyone's had a bit of taste of it. I know Wolfie's got another one. A white one, uh, it's just hanging on. Gay pie. Gay pie, yeah. Well, pretty much a white one. All right, next up. Look at this nice dark checker. CU 19201. Michael Pimentel, this is. What'd you call it? Mrs. Burge's boy. I'm going to show you him, take the time so you can take a good look as you asked, you want to see him. Doing good. Again, molt. A little bit more here in the light so you can see. Molten heavy through the chest. Again, let's take a look at that wing. Molting heavy, heavy, heavy. Lots of molt, backs molting. It's like a porcupine here, right around the face. Michael Pimentel, this is yours. Thanks for your support, Michael. We hope you enjoy it. Lots of fight, good body weight. I don't see any problems with this bird at this point. So that's a thumbs up. Ah, a little itchy today. All right. All right, Rodrigo, next year you're more than welcome to come with your birds. Remember, guys, I say take your time, have them too old. Too old's good, just my opinion. Yeah, Neil, you're right. Ian's team could be those gunslingers, the, the Magnificent Seven. But here we go. This is a real nice pigeon. CU 11250. Kevin Kearns, Exterminator Junior. And why are we calling this bird Junior? This is one of the five competing in the Junior class as well. This is one of the Juniors. I think this is our first Junior uh, that we're showing. 
So Kevin Kearns, here's your junior, feeling good, looking good. He's kicked one flight, so he's got nine to go. Body molting good. Good vents, good little bit of fight in the pigeon. Good. How many juniors you got in? We got five juniors all together. Wow. Five juniors flying for $1,000. What race would do that? Only the Pioneer. Okay, whoa, here's a bag of feathers. Molten, molten, molten. Here we go, 54, 84. Fifty-four, eighty-four. Ian Sybil, Dominique by Ian Sybil. Looking good. <laughs> All right, David. Uh, too bad you couldn't find that hose. You know what? If you want us, you know, or whatever, we can always go to the store, grab you one, and send it out to you, or whatever. Uh, or you probably can order it on Amazon, but the, the, the hose, the, the sprinkler going back and forth is, is another good thing. Again, guys, put out a bath pan is another good thing. You know what? Get a garden hose. <laughs> no, we're, we're not drill. We're it's not getting time. a garden. We're not getting a garden. No, we're not. We're not going to get a garden gonna, hose and put a million fifty. Are we going to do the water show today again? Yeah, we're doing the water show today again. We've got Ricky though. We've strapped him into a wheelchair, so he can't possibly, he can't possibly make an ass out of all of us. But anyways, guys, if you wonder where I get my wackadoo shit from, that's the man right there. It's his fault. Not yet. Never encourage the Ricky Z. Here we go. Holy shit. This is a bullet. I'm going to tell you. I bet you this is a junior pigeon. Here we go. From the Lakeport, the club that we used to be a part of, the club that we named after the best beer. Have too many of those and... You'll be in the bathroom, but hey, that's okay. Lakeport, 20036. I like those white flights there. Feathers of Glory, Fog Jr. What a nice pigeon. God, that's Again, pretty. Oh. Montana Van Kempen, this is your girl. She's looking good, molten heavy in the face, good feather, great keel to the vent. I like very, very nice. Flights. And I like that. You know what? Pigeons that have this kind of piding with that smutty, smoky blue, I always just think they're special pigeons. Now, what do I know? Oops. Well, watch yourself, Brian. Well, watch yourself. I haven't had a drink yet today. No, we're going to have to put bungee cords here. Bungee cords are up. Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> now, here. What basket are you using there? Is that a special basket? Yeah, these are the baskets that we sell here at the Coop, the Red One. What do you sell them for? No, uh, they're $65, Richard. Okay. 65 Richard? That's cheap. Do you want to come up here and do this? Because you can. I paid for one of these, yeah. one and a quarter. All right. From the CU, 2659. Robert Simpson, my friend, thanks for your support. This is Baby Blue. Molten good, looking good, good body, good character. Again... What has he got? Two, four, six, eight. He hasn't kicked one flight, and you know, I open this bird's wing, and I can feel it pulling. Good vibration in the pigeon, pigeon Robert. And walking backwards is tricky. They always say you never put your back to the camera. First thing, when I went to, uh, when I went to, uh, in L.A., when I went to L.A., and I studied being yeah. on TV, they said you never walk backwards to a camera. It's ignorant. But now I've got to watch because I've got props here. Next time I'll walk backwards to the camera. All right. Here's a pigeon that I think is on his way down. And I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I look okay. the, I see the back. You can start to yeah, see. Yeah, I can see that. This bird's going to get an opportunity, but I think it's coming to an end. One, three, one, one, three. Hold her up. And she's, she's rattling. She's got a cold. Oh, I can hear it. Wings of Stone, Jeff Butterman. Turn it the other way. This is William Cat. Again, the bird, I'm, I'm not going to lie, bird's gone down in the last 24 hours. You can see the thinness. Not going to make it, this bird. And again, we give the birds the opportunities. I can actually feel this pigeon in my hand. The bird's nervous. The bird's going like this. This bird will not go out today, even though he has been scanned. Just want to show you. You know, that sickness is so 
Well, the, 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 sickness, the sickness is the devil, right? Yeah, it's just... Uh, and again, I think, Richard, you made a great point the other day. And we weren't on camera, but... It's not finished until they've all had that taste of it. I mean, we were even talking about the Dave Ottaway birds. I, until you all have it, take a taste of it, and either get through it, which you can't see if they've gone through it. You can't see if they picked it up. You can't see it. But the truth is, the whole building has to go through it. And you're asking me, I've had people numerous times, take them out, take them out, take them out. No, leave them in, leave them in, leave them in. Let the loft go through it. You know... I, asked, I was going to ask you the question. Have they all been through the sickness? We're almost all the we way don't through. Know. We're yeah. all the way through. Now, i got to keep going with this. We don't have to have a meeting on this now. We're doing this. All right. Here we go. From the Niagara. Oops, sorry. No. 5420. He's my man. Ian Sybil. This is Bubbles E from Ian Sybil. Look at little Bubbles. He looks just like Bubbles. Gorgeous wing. Again, one of those pigeons I noticed never seems to take a backward step. I think it's going to be a real good pigeon. Really good. Chiseled right out of granite. Again, but we're halfway it, through it, here. It says in that article that some birds mm -hmm. will shake it. They won't even get sick. Right. You know, and, and that's what but, it is. But what, you know, what, what are we supposed to do here, Richard? We have to let, let let Mother Nature run its course, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to allow it to run its course, and that's it. All right, moving on. Any questions, guys? Punch them in, in the comments below. From Barry, 8307. Wingfield Law Farms. Dark Invader, looking good. We feel they're getting warm even in the basket today. The humidity is just so hot. And guys, this is when respiratory comes into your loft with these conditions here. So let's, just like a, a sauna. Looking good though. Yeah, I'm looking at respiratory coming out of Brian, yeah, Brian, he's, he's been lucky. Brian is my twin brother. He's got long hair. He's not quite as good looking as me. And they're not talking about you, Richard. You got. And you guys have yet ever to meet the famous Jimmy. But you're going to meet him one of these days. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this one's going to be a tough one for, for Ian Sybil. 54.25. This is Yammy from Ian Sybil. Now, this pigeon, okay, it's been going through the sickness. Okay, it's going through it. The thing with this pigeon that it has over a lot of the other ones it keeps living, it keeps digging, and it's digging, it's digging, it's trying to white, work, work his way through it. This pigeon here, I'm not going to pull out. It doesn't stumble in the loft. You can feel it in your hand. It's not perfect. Very interesting fact on this pigeon. Each of the, each of the ninth flights are white. God himself, there, the legend, Mr. Big Letter, say if you have a pigeon with one flight on the ninth, each one is white, it's a super. That's what Mr. Big Letter said. Don't take my words for it. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Big Letters. He hasn't been on in a while. You know what? Stocks in the marshmallow and matches has gone up. Anyways, guys, if you're looking to burn your loft right to the ground, let me know. I know the people that do it the best way. Here we go. From York Region. Yes, that is right. York Region 2922. Sparky Loft, Dosha Jr., another junior competitor. Now, Dosha, I mean, I believe in Arab means honey. as a meaning fluent in all those different languages. Okay. Well, I'm friends with Sparkus, guys. Big shout out to Sparky last year and the Pioneer. He wasn't in our club, but he flew in our Pickbird series. He won money, almost enough to retire. Cheers to you, Sparkus. Now, he's a, he's a junior flyer. This is a junior bird. Did you check his uh, passport? I, I did. I checked everything on him. He like, matched up. And to be a junior member this year, you have to qualify. What was the qualification? You have to be under 30. 30 and under. 
I'm going to tell you, the junior pigeons I'm handling are better than 90% of the regular birds. I think I think a junior is going to be a huge huge winner this okay, year. So can Here we go. The junior from the York region, 29-33. Back to back, Sparky. This is kill shot. Juniors can fly for the weekly prizes as well. Juniors can fly for the weekly prizes, Richard, and the main prizes and the junior prizes because a junior is really the best to be. This is kill shot again. Sparky enjoys Eminem very, very much. He is a dope rapper. He's a dope rapper. If you guys want to see how Sparky dresses, look at his photo. And guys, uh, in the comment section below, if you look at the people who drop the birds off, you can circle who you think Sparky is. You'll tell just by his dope outfit. He's pretty dope himself. Look at that nice step of the wing. Beautiful doyle. Now, could I be a junior member? No. No. Okay, I... Rodrigo, we're going to be coming to Long Island this fall. Maybe we'll swing by. Sweet Jack's on me if we do come by. If we can't, again, we're hoping that the border opens up. That's the truth, right? So we can get back to regular life. Oh, here's another one. Hurting a little bit. Just a little bit in here. Let's see who it is. Somebody banned on the backwards leg. I really, that annoys me. That's Wallace. From the Borden, yes. From the Borden, 2857. Well, that's a very young pigeon. Wally Felix, skyscraper. Happy 93rd birthday again, Wally. Is that Marianne? Nope. That nasty girl's not up yet. You remember like what Wally said, a little poof, poof, fucky, fucky. <laughs> Uh, well, guys, if you guys want Wally to come to your party, there's no problems. I can give you his number. We'll set you up. And remember, when Wally's there, you'll always hear, beep, beep, because that's how Wally lets you know he's in the house. Not a big fan of that one in the hands. <laughs> Feeling like the devil could be coming to her. Well, that's not the youngest one, then. No, no. The youngest one could be up next. Here we go from Mississauga. My man, if you're looking for fromage... Seven nine seven one. Mo, this is Finch. Mo, Mo, I think the name. There's got to be a meaning to this. If you could put in the comments below why you named it Finch, is this after Steve Finch from American Pie? I don't know. I thought you would have called this mozzarella something. Rumor has it this bird was bred by the Sagunas. Just to throw that out there. Again. What's that on the second flight? And you know what's great about Mo? Whenever he comes, he has a great time. He had his swag on the other day. You'll see the swag in the back corner. And this is what he was wearing. And he looked even better than me. <laughs> I promise you're gonna look good wearing this. If we put Richard in this, you ain't even gonna recognize him. Okay, when are we having tattooing? In July, isn't it? He had his hat on. He had his shirt on. Yeah, and we're getting tattooed. Dad, again. we're not doing tattoos. The, the crowd wants you to stay in the chair and keep quiet. Okay, here we go. From Barry, 8308. Alan Holtz. Alan Holtz and Rowan. This is Blue Moon. Good name. Nice eye. Nice pigeon. Bigger bird, a little bit deeper. Going through the molt heavy. That's a great sign. Again, all the birds are molting the same way. You see, I do this with my fingers. You see the feathers are real, real loose. Birds aren't slick. It's on its first flight. Yeah. And guys, we, we went to extremes here. We had Wally Beal at 93rd, and then we have Rowan that just turned, I believe, 6 or 7. Maybe he's 8. He's ready for a Sweet Jack Jr., very nice to see young and old. Look at that, eh? Almost a hundred years difference. Different. Oh my God, that is right. Wally and Rowan together in the room. Picture. Also, guys, remember if you go to the New Market Mall in December, Wally does dress up as Santa Claus. Remember, he was the uh, lion in the Wizard of Oz. He also was the skipper on Gilligan's Island and. After he retired, he loved you people so much that what did he do? He went and worked at the Upper Canada Mall as Santa. 
And you know what? If he gets any shorter, they're going to make him an elf. He actually asked me, uh, he said, do you think we can do anything for Hall, uh, for uh, Easter? He thought about dressing up as Easter Bunny. Okay, here it is from Niagara. The Gruesome 7, the Magnificent 7, 10462. Simple. Holy shit, I thought this was an Ian Sybil pigeon. This is bred by Tony Alvis. Is it Tony Alvis pigeon, correct? This is Tony Alvis is right here. What? Ricky's bitch. This is what they've called it, Ricky's bitch. Is that legal? Is that legal? I don't know. We had flying bitches here in our club last year, but now we've got Ricky's bitch. Again. From Niagara. No. Bred by Tony Alvis for Tony Alvis. This is Tony Alvis's single entrant into the race. And he's named it after you, Ricky, Ricky's bitch. Good job. All right. Oh, finally. The gods are starting to come to us now, boys. Now, has that one seen the devil yet? They've all seen it in this room. This the devil's here now. Two six five three. Robert Simpson, my friend, this is your Jacob. This was one of your favorites. Doing very, very well. It's first day going to be out being broke. Back of steel on it. And again, from what I heard from Robert Simpson, and this is down from Thorsten Dom, uh, an auction we held in season one for Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Again, Thorsten Dom in 2009 was the world champion of the FCI. Guys, there's no joke. 2009 world champion. I think I got fleas. All right, moving along. Here we go. Another one, a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. Nice pigeon. This is a Wallace again. No, sorry, JK Loft, one, one, one. Oh boy. He won? This he bird's won. name is Mail Mail. SK Wu. J.K. Loft, again, looking good, a little bit bigger, a little deeper pigeon, still full wing on it, hasn't dropped a, hasn't dropped a penny, a pin, whatever you want to call it, but again, you see the molting, it's, it's very bare, and again, guys, this time in the bird's life, they're adapting to the new loft, they're, they've had all the new birds come in, so it's a big group together, pile of you know what, and we're asking them to molt, put on new feathers, look good, be in front of the camera, dance monkey dance, as they say. And they're dancing good. They're dancing good. And you know what? We want to show you all the way through. The ups, the downs. And we're showing you ups and downs here today in the basket. Next guy up. Oh, I think this is SK. Holy shit, SK again. JK Lofts. Two, two, two. Golden Dragon. You know what's a... There we go. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm a bit too close to the camera, guys. Okay, and we're trying to get the, the wing shots in, the body shots so you can see. That's better there. Boy, this pigeon's got a hell of a lot of fight to it. Good luck to the yellow guys today. They've done very good. They've done good at not losing a lot of birds. Now it's starting to come on to them a bit, which is fine. Today's a big day for them because they have to break. And they got big shoes to fill because the red rockets... They kicked ass. And we're hoping we're going to see the same here today. So, next one up. From the Lakeport. 20042. Mike Van Kempen, this is your KK. Great name. Again, it's a and it stands for Kempen's Coop. Nice chocolate. Got a good body on it. Again, you see through the back, molting hard. Nice silky feather. Good luck, Mike. And you know what? There's, uh, there's our first father-daughter team. Because wings of glory. Uh, feathers of glory. Wings of glory. Feathers of glory. 
Feathers of Glory is Mike's daughter. Okay, here we go. Next up, how long from Niagara? Five, four, eight, eight. Ian Simple, this is your woman. This is Ch Chalupa. Chalupa, Ian doesn't know how to spell Chalupa. He wanted to spell Chalupa. He said Chalula. You know what? Who didn't love Chalula? Chalula, Chalupa, they can be sisters. Ian, you've come up with these good names. And again, Ian, you know what the difference between you and me is, Ian? Just a couple of drinks. And again, guys, still molting real good, real heavy, heavy, heavy. To Chalupa, Chalula, Guadalupe, El Nino, Baja, the breakfast burrito. I don't know. Love Andrew Richard, you're still staying awake. This show's got to be good. We're coming down to the end of these Yellow Warriors. Yeah, don't. Don't worry, after this, we're gonna give us about a 30 minute break to rehydrate with some of our favorite fluids. Then we're gonna come back for the today's water show, but we may even have lightning out there. We're not sure. It's going to be fun. Stick around. Ricky, do you have your bathing suit on yet, boy? Hey guys, today we got him a beautiful neon Speedo for the show. So we don't get cut off on the tube. Ricky's gonna be in his Speedo wool socks and his native slippers. The hell with the show, let it go on. This is Wally Bielek for Borden 2855. Ryan, I'm telling you, you're on this show. Don't be shy, man. You can't be shy. This is Mary, this is Mary Ann. Remember, oh, Ann. Wally met her. Oh. Well, we met her on the cast of Cheers Shabang. back in 1982. Marianne was gonna... Actually, guys, Marianne was the bartender on Cheers. Probably 1940. Don't you remember that? And when Wally and her had a kid, this is what it kind of looked like. What a nice pitch. Super nice pitch. Shabang. Who? Shabang. Wally never says shebang. But guys, if you ever get Wally, he's gonna ask you to do the twist. Okay, and when he does the twist, take it easy with Marianne. Yeah, she's nice. We got two warriors left. Well, I got two. Oh, the wolf man, I'm not bringing him up today, and that's how it's gonna roll. You won't grab the white pie, go get it now. Go. Sorry, I'm on my lunch break. Okay, can you go get the white pie? You want it? Yeah. Here we go, guys, to keep a full slate here. From the CU, one, one, two, four, six. Kevin Kearns, this is your jet. Thanks for your support, Kevin. Hopefully the new baby's going good. Probably sign yourself back up for another one. That's okay. Take a look how I turned out. We got loft manager Ricky, he's running down. Let's get going, please. Get some speed up there. We have the Facebook crowd in the house. Again, guys, loft manager Richard, I am willing to sell him or make a trade. There's Kevin Kearns right here. Looking good, Jet. Again, molting. They're all molting ever so heavily. I'm supposed to say ever so slightly. Richard's gone to get Wolfamania's Lone Wolf. Extreme Wolf, my apologies. It was feeling not so good. Probably is going to back out of this competition fairly soon. The last one. The bullet and the gun. My man. My favorite. I plan this thing to win the whole thing. Not plan it. I pick it. This is a super pigeon. Watch me lose it today on the break. 26.55. This is Sweet Jack Jr., bred by Robert Simpson for our good man, Petey Pigeon. This pigeon's in the junior category. Again, awesome, awesome, awesome pigeon. Super well bred, super balanced. Everybody that comes over right away goes to this pigeon right off the hop. Uh, this pigeon has big shoes to fill. 
Uh, it will be flying all the money that this pigeon earns, if it can earn money, if it can win money. First flight. Yeah, I know that. Don't interrupt me. I'm talking right now. It's flying for the Prater Willie Foundation. All the prize money. Check it out. Good luck, Petey. Good luck, Robert. I just want to show this pigeon. Super. And here's the last one for today. Okay, so pass it over to me, please. Bird came in so strong. The bird came in like a bull. Take a look at the fluff in his yeah. cheeks. He's all fluffed in his cheeks. Fluff. His eye. Here we go. I will scan the bird. He's going to go back into the section. This, the door will be open. He won't come out. 145. This is extreme wolf. You'll see it, boys, in the face. See the eyes. See his cheeks, how fluffed it is? Cheeks are fluffed up. Bird's not feeling it. And again, I have to show it. I'm not going to tell you the bird flew over the house. This thing came in like steel magnolias. It went steel for, God, three weeks. And now the devil is on him hard. Let's hope this bird will come through. Wolfie, I'm pulling for you, bud. He's not going to go out today. He's going to have the door open, but I don't think he's going anywhere. So, we end with a high note, with a low note. The game must go on, and that's the facts. Eight weeks of up north combine racing. 95% of these pigeons are just show pigeons. That's not bad, but that's the truth. And nobody likes the truth. We've got, in these two crates, Leah, how many is it again? 29 pigeons in total today are going to go out for their break. They've got high humidity, rain, no sun. I don't know if there's even any wind, but that don't matter. That's, this is their day today. They need to be perfect. Petey, thank you for thanking us. Robert's the man to produce such an outstanding pigeon. And another thing, it wasn't that he just produced a super pigeon. He allowed the pigeon to compete, and I think that's a real sportsman. That's a super man, super uh, with the generosity. Number one to both you guys, and, and thank you, Petey, for accepting it and putting it on your team. I think you're gonna do good. I think overall, it's a win-win. And for donating that prize money, because I personally think there's a lot of money here. I think that pigeon's gonna clean up a lot of money, and if he wins all the money, none of the money, the fact that you're donating it to that charity, congratulations, everybody's winning. And I hope everybody in this race is pulling for that pigeon as much as we are, Petey and Robert. We're done. What? 20 after three now, we're gonna come back in 30 minutes. So 20 after, let's say we're going to go live at 4 o'clock for the break. And for the break means birds will be in their own section. The Yellow Warriors will be in their section. They're going to have their panel of their Avery off. All the other birds will be out in the settling Avery. And it's their turn to break. So their settling Avery will come off. Settling Avery is going to come right off. So they have it open to the free world. The sprinkler, if it's raining or it's not, sprinkler will be on. Because we're going to roll the dice the same way, fair for everyone. Oh, so we're still going to have the sprinkler. We're still going to have a water show where Ricky will be in some of his sexiest attire ever. And clothing on today, it's kind of a, he's going to be wearing a white shirt, so it's going to be like a wet t-shirt contest for Ricky. We hope you guys are liking what you're doing again tomorrow. I think 2.30 is going to work for us. Again, today we were working, posting up the results. We're going to do the count tonight, the feed tonight. We will do the count to make sure that there's 29 birds in. No guarantees, again, the break is to find out if they have shit between their ears, and that's not on me, that's on the birds you sent. We wish the Yellow Warriors the best of luck, see if they can keep up with the Red Rockets. Thanks for flying with me, guys. I'm Ryan, we'll see you at four. Adios.